Hello friends, so in this video we are going to test ride this D-Express metal electric scooter. This electric scooter has got lot of carriers like front carrier, this is the center space quite big uh, to carry lot of bags, then side carriers as you can see these are foldable. Okay, so this is for personal use also and if we remove this pillion seat you can uh, still carry a lot of bags at the back side then you get side carrier over there so this is quite good for delivery people and for personal use let's talk about how you can charge this electric scooter you see a charging port over here so while parking you can directly put up a socket in this and you can directly charge and this battery is removable uh, you see over here you can directly remove this battery by inserting key over here and you can directly remove this battery like this and charge it at home so both the options are available and charging time is around 4.5 hours to 5.5 hours if we talk about the build quality of this electric scooter, you can see all the metal over here. Uh, you can see the pipes running down from front to back. So this design is quite sturdy and robust. Uh, the key is also quite interesting. You get three buttons over here. One is the lock, unlock and another is for keyless entry. Suppose I want to start this electric scooter without the key. So I'll just make two press over here on the keyless entry. And as you can see, this uh, meter is turned on. Okay, so then you can directly ride this electric scooter and if you want to lock this electric scooter, you can j just press this button. So nobody will touch this electric scooter and even someone else is touching this electric scooter, it will create sound. Talking about the ride quality of this electric scooter, it looks like this electric scooter is quite small and it will not be stable in high speeds. But because of the wide tires at the front and the back, and the build quality of this electric scooter this scooter is quite stable even in the uh, speed range around 25 30 35 km per hour of speed if you talk about the setting comfort you get quite a big seat over here for rider and pillion so these are both comfortable the price of this electric scooter is around 88,000 on road pune so let's test ride this electric scooter and check out how is the performance So since this is a low speed electric scooter, you don't need uh, license, registration, anything and you can uh, avoid any chalans because of this. Also you get parking indicators over here, you can see and in the instrument cluster you see uh, riding modes, eco and power mode. Then you see uh, speedometer, battery percentage, battery voltage. On this side you see horn, upper and lower dipper, side indicators and this side you see uh, headlight okay and and the bottom you see USB charging port and small hook to mount some bags this is the foot pegs so let's test ride this electric scooter and check out how is the performance uh, the throttle response of this electric scooter is quite good uh, it's not jerky actually and uh, speed is around 25 km per hour but with the help of this boost mode uh, red switch you can whenever you are overtaking you can use this boost mode okay so so this is the uh, normal speed regular speed now I will show you the boost mode so with the boost mode the power is slightly higher and uh, you can travel in around like 35 to 40 km per hour uh, speed but this particular meter will show only 24 km per hour of the speed and the setting comfort is good and as you can see the performance is quite good braking is decent and the ride quality is quite good even though the speed is not that much around uh, 35 to 40 km per hour but still you can cover long distances easily and coming to the range you get two batteries one is 60 volt 30 ampere hour and another is 60 volt 24 ampere hour so that is dependent on the battery uh, so if you talk about the range with 30 ampere hour it's around 90 to 100 kilometers range but if you talk about 24 ampere hour battery so you get around 70 to 80 kilometers of range so handling is quite good and setting comfort is quite good and you get a lot of leg room over here you can easily put up uh, many bags over here in the center space the weight is pretty less around 56 kgs so it's easy to handle this electric scooter and the ride quality seems to be good suspension if you talk about it's slightly hard but okay the scooter doesn't wobble and doesn't vibrate that much it's quite smooth and there are no vibration in any of the parts the handling is quite good you can easily maneuver this electric scooter 
so it's fun to drive electric scooter talking about the brake you get front disc brake and rear drum brake and you get a bosch motor and also the handlebar is adjustable you get four screw over here so you can move this uh, handlebar forward or backward depending upon your riding comfort so this is quite practical electric scooter so this electric scooter d express metal is quite good for normal commute personal use and delivery uh, usage so this is the ride review of d express metal electric scooter thank you guys